Two-time Wimbledon champion Andy Murray has told the BBC the recent mass shooting at a school in Texas has evoked memories of his own experience surviving the Dunblane massacre of 1996. In a wide-ranging interview, he also shared his thoughts on the decision to ban Russian and Belarusian players from Wimbledon following the invasion of Ukraine and shared his own ambitions for the future. Laura Scott reports. Andy Murray was busy preparing for the grass court season when he saw the news of the latest mass shooting in America, of a primary school in Texas where 19 children and two teachers were killed by an 18-year-old gunman. On social media, Murray described the incident as madness and one survivor's account in particular brought back painful memories of the horrific shootings that took place at his own school in Dunblane in 1996. Unbelievably sad and disappointing and, you know, yeah, it just makes you feel, feel angry and incredibly upset for the, the parents. And I, I heard something on the radio the other day and it was a child from that school, you know, and I experienced a similar thing when I was at Dunblane and a teacher, like, you know, coming out and waving all of the children like under tables and telling them to go and hide. And it was a kid like telling exactly the same story about how she survived it. And they were, they were saying that they go through these drills like as young children, as like seven, eight year old children. And it's like, how? Like, how is that normal that children should be having to go through drills like in case someone comes into school with a gun? I, I don't get it. Murray feels strongly that the time has come for change. You know, I get over there, like, it's always, there's always talk about it being something political, but I just, I, I don't see how, how it is. Like, I don't think anyone wants to see things like that, that happening. And my feeling is that, like, surely at some stage you do something different. Like, you can't keep approaching, you know, the, the problem, you know, by buying more guns and having more guns in the country. Like, I don't see how that, that, that solves it. Other issues on his mind include the fallout from the war in Ukraine and the decision by Wimbledon to ban Russian and Belarusian players from this year's event. I understand why Wimbledon took the decision um, because of the guidance that was in place um, at, at the time from the government. I can also appreciate the players' perspective that aren't allowed to play and I've spoken to a number of them um, you know, I'm friends with, friends with some of them, so I, I talk to them about it and I can understand why it's frustrating for them uh, as well. Um, I don't think there was necessarily a right decision. Um, and, and yeah, it's, it's a very difficult one. As punishment, there will be no ranking points available to players at SW19 this year. But Murray thinks it will have little consequence or benefit. In terms of the points, ATP removing the points from Wimbledon, I just I don't think it's what the majority of the players wanted I, and I'm not quite sure who it, who it actually benefits because I think all of the players will still turn up and play, so I'm not sure how beneficial it is. The former world number one was speaking after a confident victory at the Surbiton Trophy, a tournament he's playing for the first time since he was 17. Now 35, he's back because he knows he needs matches under his belt before Wimbledon. Uh, I do have high expectations for myself and hope that I can, can perform well the next few weeks. And that's kind of like, I guess, second week of a slam and, and stringing wins together? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I want to do better than just making the, 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 the second week. Um, and yeah, I want to, want to be, be winning matches consistently on, on the tour, which, you know, maybe hasn't been the case, um, you know, for large parts of the last sort of 18 months or so, but I still believe that, that I can get back to that level. Even if Murray's ambitions haven't diminished in recent years, his chances of fulfilling them have so often been hampered by injury, so his goals on the grass do rely on his body holding up. Um, physically right now I feel like I'm in good shape um, you know that wasn't the case coming into the grass court season last year so I'm, I'm happy that I feel good um, like I said I got a lot of sort of practice on on the grass under my belt this year and hopefully um, yeah the body stays that way. Murray's sporting focus isn't only on tennis with Scotland facing Ukraine in the World Cup playoff semi-final tomorrow night. I think my, my brother's already booked tickets just in case um, <laughs> 
Scotland, uh, Scotland get there, but um, I might be playing here, so I don't know um, if I'll get the, the chance to watch it, but I'd love to. I mean, Scotland haven't played in a World Cup since, I think it was 98, but it's a long time ago. Um, yeah, so I, I, it was, I was like nine or ten years old at the time, so I'm, I'm hoping they, they can do it. they got a good team now, so let's see. As he embarks on another bid at Wimbledon glory, it's clear events around the world are never far from Murray's mind. Laura Scott, BBC News.